Uh, welcome back to my version of Roadkill Garage. Um, finally got back to wanting to do some stuff on the cars here, and uh, St. Regis is definitely a candidate for needing some stuff. Not a lot, it's just basic maintenance things over an older car, but I got a lot done. Um, a lot of the leaks are gone, I'd say 99.9%. .9%. The trays are all nice and dry. I had the car out driving around a little bit. Um, you know, just some new transmission pan gasket, new rear main seal, a couple other small things up in there. Um, just some leaky hoses and whatnot. Power steering pump was leaking and a couple of freeze plugs. So I got all that taken care of. And the car's nice and clean underneath and it's definitely, I gotta get the grease cleaned up eventually. But uh, for now, we are leak free, thank goodness. So I can take this thing out and drive it around and start figuring out some more of the other things that I have to get done. But getting down to the mechanicals here, um, the exhaust system's obviously pretty rusty as you can see. I gotta replace this. Uh, floors and everything are great on this car. I mean, this is pretty, whoever undercoated this when it was brand new did a great job. There's no rust on this thing. There are a ton of these grounding shield wires, which was lease package spec, so that's pretty cool. But at some point, I think this car had a an event. Um, as you can see, the springs are kind of de arched so they, they're going to get a replacement. I've, I've got to get a set of those on order. I'll try to find a good set and they tried to compensate the original owners with some low leveling shocks to kind of compensate for the springs. Um, the sway bar mounts are originals. This one doesn't look too bad. However, like I said, I think this car suffered an event because if you look at that one, it's broke right off. And I've also noticed, haha, that the bolt on the shock is bent right over at the bottom there. So it's got kind of an odd angle to it, like something kind of hit this and probably broke the bar. These are the lowest points, so it probably impacted the bar and broke it. And then whatever happened here, um, I, didn't, I did see a little mark on the bolt, like it scraped on something. So it could have been train track, it could have been anything. Maybe it ran over something, I don't know. But I gotta get that replaced. And I was able to locate this little doohickey here. Back out a little bit. And this is uh, from Rare Parts. It's basically what the dealer would have done back in the day if they had to replace that mount right there. Because that's, that's a welded together piece. That's what Mopar used to do. And trying to get that apart and the new one in and the, the new link, it's just, it's so almost impossible. It's a pain. You'd have to drill out that weld spots and all that. So um, they made this retro kit and I'm gonna see if, how it fits in here. If it fits right, I'll put it in and we'll, uh, we'll get a look at it afterwards. But until then, let's make some notes of what's going on under here. We got some old air shock lines that gotta come out. And uh, brake lines look good, but uh, we're going to go through just wheel cylinders and brakes and everything on the car, make it 100%. We'll go from there. Uh, Universal doesn't look too bad, so. Okay, let's get to work. I'll see you guys later.